so let me share my screen okay like today we are going to discuss about uh, some of the developer frequently asked questions like uh, like we can say basic level of uh, developer entry point of view questions we can say that we can say like okay so like okay so earlier we discussed about a couple of things like uh, real time scenarios into the admin level so now we are discussing about like development questions frequently asked development questions in real time scenarios right like basic questions of that real time scenario in developer's perspective okay so what are the types of collections available into the salesforce or apex what are the types of collections available into the apex so you can say list set and map list set and map so these are the three collections available into the salesforce so while coming to the list it say ordered and allow duplicates okay so list is a collection of orders and it's allow duplicates what is in my set set is a like unordered collection of records it won't allow duplicates it won't allow duplicates that's the set so while coming to the third collection like map so map is a like key value pair like key and value pair so map is the key value and pair so what is the difference between list and set what is the difference between the list and set so list is a ordered and set is a unordered list is allow duplicates we discussed already right so list is allow duplicates while coming to the set set doesn't allow duplicates set doesn't allow duplicates so we can access in list wise and we can access list of elements with the index so while coming to the set set elements cannot be accessed with index set elements cannot be accessed with the index so while coming to the list so we can sort list elements with sort method in list in list side like we can sort list elements with the sort method so sort method is not available for the set okay like while coming to the list so list contains method is not available into the list like contains method not available into the list so while coming to the set so contains method is available for set to search to search for a particular elements in the set so if you want to search any specific then we can use for contains method into the set so that's what the meaning of what that like we can process the records which are stored into the which are stored in list em using dml statements like insert update delete and undelete so we can process the records in list wise like while coming to the set so we cannot process the records we cannot process the records which are stored into the which are stored in set using dml statements so in dml statements we can't process the records in set level so while coming to the list level we can process the list of the records to the dml statements in list level so what is the maximum size of the limit what is the maximum size of the list list limit okay so there is no limit for the size of the list it it only depends on the heap size it only depends on the heap size the heap size should be like 6 mb synchronous and 12 mb should be the asynchronous so you need to say like there is no limit for the size of the list but it depends on the heap size it should be uh, 6 mb for synchronous and 12 mb for the asynchronous size so what are the map methods available into the apex so what are the map methods available into the apex like key set values contains key value like get key and put key so these are the frequently methods like these are the methods we use into the map methods like we have some different methods also there but we are using uh, frequently means like these are the methods we are using the apex okay like key set to fetch only keys from the map second one values to fetch the only values from the map third one like contains keys to search a key from the map get key method like by supplying the key we can fetch the value fifth one like put key values 
to add key and value in a map so these are the five methods frequently we are using like in map methods available to the apex like what are the dml statements available under the apex so what are the dml statements so insert update delete and delete upset match so these are the uh, dml statements right so if you come to the upset combination of insert and update so upset means like it's a combination of insert and update so undelete means whenever we delete the records those records will be stored into the recycle bin right so there we can undelete those records again stored into the salesforce that's the undelete while coming to the delete if you delete the records those records will be available to the recycle bin update means we are going to update the records insert means we are going to insert the records while coming to the match it's a combination of update and delete so just think think i mean just take a note like upset and match see upset means combination of insert and update match match means combination of update and delete okay so governor limits for the dml statements so what are the limits what are the governor uh, governor limits for the dml statements so number of dml statements per transaction so 150 as a whole including the insert update delete and undelete so all the things like number of dml statements as per the transactions the 150 so including like insert update delete and undelete okay so number of rows processed by the dml statement should be 10000 so number of rows processed by the dml statement should be like 10000 so these are the governor limits for dml statements like what is soql what is soql SOQL stands for like Salesforce Object Query Language. What was the purpose of for this? To fetch info, like we are, we are going to query the records by using SOQL query from an object or related objects. To fetch some info from the object or object and related objects. So we can write a query on an object while querying the those object we can fetch the child object info or parent object info okay so we cannot capture unrelated object info unrelated capture object info okay so soql queries per transaction 100 soql query rows returned 50000 so these are the soql while coming to the sosl so sosl means salesforce object search language what was the purpose for this so we can search for a value multiple objects no need no need of any relationship the results of sopl query can be stored in a list list of the list so sopl query for transaction 20 sosl so sosl queries per transaction 20 sosl query rows return with 2000 so these are the limits for the sosl okay so here the like difference between insert update insert and update and database dot insert and database dot update so this is the most frequently asked question also for this like what is what is the difference between insert and update and database dot insert database dot update so yeah while well, coming to insert and update so assume that you have a uh, inserting 100 records or 1000 records something okay if any one of the record got failed if in 1000 records 100 records you are going to inserting right any one of the record going to fail due to some error okay then that entire operation will fail that entire operation will be fail and none of the records will be saved into the database where like insert and update operations while coming to the database dot insert and database data update as if same scenario just assume like uh, you are inserting hundred or thousand records okay if due to some error like one record has uh, something like one or ten records got failed due to some error at the same time like it will be perform the partial operations it will be perform the partial operations valid records will be inserted like without error records will be there right those records will be get inserted or updated if we use database dot insert insert false database dot update list false so if you get error also that operations will be performed and it's a without error records that should, those should be inserted or updated so that's the difference okay so second one like which i mean with insert and update if we 
use try catch we can capture only one error which will cause to stop of operation okay so it should be only one error we can find out like uh, try and crash block so while coming to the database dot insert database dot update we can capture all the errors all the errors by using the result of like database dot save result by using method should be like database dot save result so while coming to the database dot insert means cause of stop the operations try catch block so again one more question like scenario based like so there is a queue with the name of my queue so just assume there is a queue with the name of my queue that queue name should be my queue okay so how to query it using soql query from the database okay so how we are going to query the database uh, soql query by using like my query so here like queues first of all we have to take a look like queues will be stored into the group object right so queues are stored into the where like group object so to query for my queue from the database using soql then we can should use the following syntax just assume like group it's a group is a keyword equal to select id comma name from group where name equal to where name equal to my queue and type queue limit equal to like one or how many records if you want to display so we can display those kind of information by using this query so this is the syntax for the querying the group of records so this is the uh, just basic level of frequently asked questions for developers so while coming to uh, other important questions like apex classes triggers and some various different different topics also like batch apex so those are the uh, real time scenarios questions will be there so i will update uh, next video okay thanks for watching